I'm sure by now you all have seen the videos about Gemini. What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. And although the model is not dead yet, we can already use this technology using images to understand what is happening in our house. For this, we just need a smart camera, a motion sensor, and home assistant. And if you're ready, let's go. First, to get Gemini supporting Home Assistant, we need to install a new version of the Google AI integration. For this, just go to my website. And here, just click on Install Integration Version with Gemini Vision Support. And for this, we need to download the files. For this, just click here. Then, just go to your Downloads folder. And here, just open the file, copy the folder, and paste it on your desktop. Now just go to Home Assistant and here go to Studio Code Server and here create a folder called Custom Components. And now just drag and drop the folder from your desktop to your Custom Components folder. And that's it, now we need to restart Home Assistant. For this, go to Developer Tools, click on Restart, Restart, and Restart. After it's finished, go back to my website, and now we need to get a Google AI API key. For this, just click here, and here you need to agree with the Terms on Service and Privacy Policy, and then you can click Continue. And here, just click on Create API Key in New Project. And then just copy it and paste it somewhere safe, as we are going to need it later. And now, go back to my website. And here, you can use this button to add the integration to your Home Assistant. Here, just click on Open Link. Click OK. And here, we just need to paste the API key that we just created. And then click Submit. And that's it. Now, just click Finish. And now, if you want to check that we are using the Gemini model, just click here and click on Configure. And here, you can see that we are using the Gemini Pro model. Then, you can click the X to dismiss the dialog. And now, I'm going to show you how to use it in Home Assistant. For this, just go to Developer Tools, click on Services, and here, just look for Google Generative AI. Click on it, write a prompt, and then on Image File, just put the path of the image that you want to send to Gemini Vision and then just click on Call Service. And that's it. Now, if you go back to my website, and here, click on Sentinel Site, you can buy the blueprint that I made to automate this on Coffee. This blueprint will allow you to create an automation that when you're not home and the automation is triggered by the sensor, will send a configured number of images taken from your security camera to Gemini Vision so it can understand what is happening in your home. Not only that, but it will attach a video from your camera so you can visualize better what Gemini Vision saw. And you can even adjust the prompt to better fit your needs, like specifying some things that you want Gemini Vision to watch out for. Buying the blueprint on Coffee will allow you access to the blueprint and any future updates that are released. Once you buy it, you will get the Sentinel Side YAML file. Then go back to Home Assistant, and here go to Studio Code Server, open Blueprints, click on Automation, and here we are going to create a new folder. Just give it a name, and then just drag and drop the Sentinel Side YAML file to it. Now go to Developer Tools, and here we are going to reload our automations. For this, just click on Automations, and now we need to create a to-do list. For this, just click on To-do List, and here we are going to click Create List. 
give it a name and click submit and finish and that's it we are going to use this list only to save the names of the images that we are going to send to Gemini Vision and now go to settings automations click on blueprints and click on sentinel site and now to use it we just need to select a person to track then select a trigger sensor then scroll down and here we need to select the camera that we want to use then we need to select the to-do list that we just created and here you can select the number of notify service that you want to use I'm just going to use one so change his name then you can select a delay in seconds after the sensor is triggered before Home Assistant starts taking snapshots from your camera then you can select the number of images that we are going to send to Gemini Vision just remember there is two seconds between two snapshots the more images that you send will allow Gemini to have a better understanding of what is happening in your home but it will also take more time to upload and process those images so keep that in mind for my use case, Fight seems to be the sweet spot. And at the end, you can modify the prompt. This will allow you to adjust instructions to better fit your case. For example, if you want to use this to monitor your pets, you can add more information so Gemini understands better what you're looking for. And then just click on Save. Give it a name. And then just click Rename. And that's it. Now, if I am not home and the entrance motion sensor is triggered, I will receive a notification on my phone with a summary of what is happening and a short clip so I can verify it. And that's it! Right now, the service is free and it will probably keep being like that until early next year. So hurry up and try it to have a taste of the future of AI security right in your home. If you like my work, please consider supporting me on Coffee using the button on my website or the link in the description. Either way, I will be eternally thankful. And I want to make a special shout out to my first subscriber, Flip. And don't worry, since you are the first, you'll be getting this blueprint in your email soon. You can help me support the channel becoming a subscriber on Ko-fi or becoming a patron. I will leave all the links in the description. And if you can't, don't worry. You can also help the channel by liking this video, subscribing and sharing with your friends. This is my last video of the year. So I want to take the time to wish you all Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you next year. Bye.